before I start this video, I want to give a big shout out to all my brothers out there. Man, free for next two times, man. It's mighty. Man, let's get to this video. <laughs> YouTube, it's your boy, <coughs> man, man, so crazy TV, back again with another video, man, you know, we uh doing the car chronicle, man, Warren Memphis, man, first of all, I want to give a, a big, big, big shout out to everybody out there in Memphis, bro, uh, South Memphis especially, you know, uh, y'all stay safe out there, you know what I'm saying, stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, you know, uh, I did, I started a little series, you know, with the war in Memphis, and, uh, you know, I'm putting, you know, information out there as, I guess, it's fending, offending, you know, a few people, you know what I'm saying, not very many, or whatever, but, um, if I offended you in any kind of way, I want to apologize to you, like I said, I'm not from Memphis, I'm only... You know what I'm saying? I'm on the blog, bro, so it ain't even that serious. And uh my my uh, page, you know, my audience is more of 35 to 45 years of age. And for some of y'all to act the way y'all act in the comments, bro, it ain't called for, bro. Like, you know, like come on, bro. Like Golf was a daddy, bro. He was somebody daddy. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of organizations out there to where if some of these young guys out there, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking to y'all OG, if y'all showed them the way how they used to in the back in the day, it, it, it wouldn't be, things wouldn't be going the way it's going out there. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I salute to, you know, all my people out there, you know, it might have salute to the notification game. Hey man, but today, Bro, I want to talk about, and this is a sensitive subject, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk about CEO Bobby. Joshua Hugelet. You know, first of all, he, I don't think he was the one that uh, made that hit. You know what I'm saying? On Dolph Life. I don't, I don't think he had nothing, you know what I'm saying, to do with it. You know, to be honest, I just think that he just was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Not saying he's a good guy, and he, you know what I'm saying? Because he's been arrested in his public record. He's been arrested for shootings, gun charges, all that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I said that to say this, like, this Dolph case is deeper than rap. You know what I'm saying? Especially how at this point it's deeper than rap. You know what I'm saying? To to those who don't know who Joshua Hewley is, he's 22 years old. That's G Train son. Yeah, G Train. To those who don't know G Train, George G Train Hewley. Bruh, big dog, big legend. First of all, let me say R.P. to my boy. You know what I'm saying? He was the leader of the Lemonye Mafia Gardens. You know what I'm saying? Gang, you know. Like, bruh, it, it was, you know, rumored that the police feared this man. You know what I'm saying? They even got a, 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 a documentary on G Train. A lot of rappers out there, they put his name in songs, you know what I'm saying? Even Craig Pettis. I didn't hear Dolph speak on Craig Pettis. Uh, I didn't hear Gotti speak on Craig Pettis. You know, uh, you know, Craig Pettis, uh, you know, he he locked up. He still locked up to this day. He actually served nine life sentences. You know, he was the a leader of a drug, drug, Pen, you know what I'm saying? Like the dude was connected to El Chapo, 
You know what I'm saying? And um, damn, boy, this is a sense of the subject right here, bro. George, man, G Train, bro, he will, he will vice, dog. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Man, he was killed at a nightclub, bro, in 1999. A nightclub I think called Headquarters or something down there in South Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <sighs> bro, bro was the bro, bro was him. You know what I'm saying? You had people that looked up to him, man. He helped his community. You know what I'm saying? Like he turned that dirty stuff, started doing clean to clean stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like man had turned it to a music label you know like most you know of us do you know we try to turn that money clean you know what i'm saying especially when you get older you you mature no more you know what i'm saying and it make you do more wide decisions because the human brain is not fully developed to or around 25 years old so you think better if you get what i'm saying so you know they 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 killed them at a nightclub. I'm not sure what happened. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know he from the uh the housing projects in South Memphis, the Lemonye Gardens housing projects. If y'all familiar with finesse two time man for man for man bro free finesse two time to the backwards man man free the big one. You know what I'm saying? For real. If y'all used to him, y'all know on one of his last CDs before he got put up, he got a song on there called, you know, I forgot the name of it, but it got like, don't make me take you back to LMG. I start the nigga making a cop a plea. For real. They gonna respect me like G-Train. Make them respect me like G-Train. G-Train was well respected, bruh. That's CEO Bobby son. My bad. I meant to say that's G Train son, you know. But uh back to the video. So with that being said, bro, as 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 these this this these guys being connected to the vice lords, you know what I'm saying? That's how I know we can get some understanding. Out there in the south, I know them brothers out there handling they business. You know what I'm saying? Getting they people. You know what I'm saying? And for real, cause that how it work. You know what I'm saying? You know, to people who don't know who Willie Lord is. Willie Lord is the founder of the Vice Lords. You know what I'm saying? He was tragically killed too. You know, uh, bro, this story deep, deep, deep. And y'all probably probably saying, what the hell this got to do with? Dolph Murph, you know what I'm saying? Well, that Benz that was uh, shot at on the at the um on that video or that clip that still picture that we seen that video, it's it's they said they found his fingerprints or something in it, and he, you know, he he didn't get arrested or charged with. The Dolph of murder or none of that. I think the police got who they want already. But you know, he was arrested that day and they trying to they tried to like put it on him. But you no. Know. But you know, that's CEO Bobby. And a lot of people I got videos, people like talking about the boy bad. In this situation right here, I'm gonna respect them because of who his daddy was. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I never disrespect now one of my brothers or my sister or no or no organization I'd be mad for anything, you know. But this is crazy, bro. The Lamonye Gardens, bro. It's it's a legendary housing projects. Like, bro, a lot of people from over there, if y'all familiar with the the rapper Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit is, uh, you know, from there. Her baby daddy got killed uh, over there in, I think, like, 2015. You know, she known for a lot of songs, you know, viral songs. She had TikToks that went viral. Only fans, fine, light-skinned, you know, uh, thick sister, man. You know, uh, 
she um oh and she known for that song that come on when p valley if y'all ever seen p valley down in the valley where the girls get naked that's juicy fruit song you know what i'm saying and she can man me personally bro man juicy fruit can rap better than all the women they got out and i, and I don't know why you know they ain't giving her the recognition she signed to atlantic records but i don't think Atlantic records putting their money the right amount of money into her because she can be bigger than what she is bro because she actually can do both of them harmonizing like for real you know and she getting money you know so she she from south memphis too you know uh i don't know if they closed the headquarters down but i think they and they closed the the projects down or they turned it to something else like in most hoods you know they um like even in Jackson, they told on in the in the the uh, private neighborhoods, turning down stuff, putting new, you know, uh, like condo type of deals, and then you know, people live up in them or whatever. Like for real, they doing that in the hood, you know. Um, the, I guess the government or the state, somebody, you know, doing that, but. Back in the day, bro, that was a dangerous uh, place to go. If you weren't from there, man. If you weren't from there, you couldn't go there. Like, for real. LMG. You know, look him up, you know. Man, RIP to that guy, man. RIP, RIP, Ghost Mob. Bro, the police was scared of G-Train. You know what I'm saying? The, the police, bro. The man had Memphis. R.P. man. Salute to the big one. You know. But then he um had a little rap group. You know. Made a rap label. They started coming out. I don't think nobody from that label actually just blew uh or went, you know, or whatever, but he was killed. So I I guess when when he was killed, uh happened. Uh, but look, look, CEO Bobby was uh, young when his daddy was killed. Because I think he, he like 21 or 22 or something like that. But, you know, I say he was out on bond for a lot of most stuff, you know, in his public records. To people who uh, be talking about, oh, man, you're a rat and all that. Man, like, look, um, I'm from the hood, bro. I don't mess with police, man. I done been to prison, none of that. You know, I done been to prison, did my time, you know what I'm saying? And, and stay solid, stay down, you know? So y'all take it the wrong way. I'm only putting stuff out that's already on the internet. Why I gotta be a wreck? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, my, my name ain't no, ain't no, ain't on nobody paperwork. Nobody paperwork. Never. I ain't never went to them folks. Nothing. Even if somebody was, you know, messing with me. I'm a hand of that. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't, I, I ain't gonna never call no police. You know, like, for real. And, you know, you don't, you don't play with people like that, bro. You can't put them type of accusations on people when you ain't got no proof, bro. That, like, if I just do a video and just give you my opinion on certain things and try to put stuff together, like, I'm a fan, you know what I'm saying, of, of Young Dolph Music, bro. He from South Memphis, and South Memphis is legendary, you know what I'm saying, from, from the Vice Lords, you know, out there, too. All, all the brothers, you know what I'm saying, R.P. Rich Lord. You know what I'm saying? Rich Law was a big figure, man. He was killed, too. Uh, I think he was killed in 2018 at another club for, I think, fighting, beating somebody up or him doing something, somebody. I'm not sure. But R.I.P., man. Well, I won't say nothing bad about them brothers because they helped their community. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, this is serious. It's a serious case, man. Like, these people killed Young Dolph, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
and, and, and I know Young Dolph, Young Dolph, he ain't no Vice Lord. I don't know really what Bird was. I don't know if he was Crip or not. I know his artist Crips. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not sure what part of uh, 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 South Memphis is the Crips and what part is the Vice Lord or is they. I got their own session. I'm not sure. I don't know. I was saying, I, don't, I ain't gonna speak on my, on stuff I really don't know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it's the CEO. I made an earlier video about CEO Bobby, and and I said that he was arrested for killing Young Dog. And like I said, I'm a man for anything, and I'm gonna clean it up. He, that man, I looked tried to find on the internet he wasn't arrested for Dolph murder he wasn't like for real and as out of respect for his daddy and who his daddy was so legendary and he helped so many people like for real like all and then he ain't never read like how some of them up north uh uh kingpins was they read the Frank Lucases and the Alpos and you know what I'm saying. That's why when I, and then when I said something about the South states is different from the the uh the hoods and the project is different. I ain't saying y'all not thugging up there up north, man. I'm not saying that. But when you coming from the South, bro, it's a little harder. You know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna say a little harder. Like, y'all just come and see. And we lit. You feel me? Like, man, Martin Luther King got killed in Memphis, Tennessee, huh? It's it's like we still dealing with KKK issues in these states, bro. I know for sure Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, Alabama. When I know it's everywhere, but them them three right there, right? For real, bro. Like, finesse two time. You know, hopefully, man, he finna come home soon and get to this money. This man got a platinum song, man. And, and Big Mighty, Big Go Mob, man. He's sitting up in there, you know, just sitting in the cell, you know, waiting on a date. Free, free my guy, man. Want to me personally? He one of my, he can, bro, y'all ain't mess with Finesse. Man, Finesse two time is one of them rappers that can, you can actually relate to them and everything a man talk about. Like Honeycomb Brains, they real. They one line and capping in their raps and, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all might not agree with me from if Like I said, I'm not from there. I'm on the outside looking in, you know what I'm saying? And out of respect on what I believe in. I ain't going to do no type of disrespect towards y'all or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. But with that being said, man, it's your boy. Man, man, so crazy TV. And I'm at this beat.